So, you have a prepared mechanics lien form. Now what? The California Mechanics Lien Law requires you to deliver a copy of your mechanics lien to the property owner. And as a matter of fact, you must send it out for delivery before filing your lien, and then attach proof of that delivery with the lien you're filing. So for this step, simply make a copy of your fully completed and signed mechanics lien and put it in the mail addressed to the property owner. This must be sent by US regular certified mail. Now you can mail it with return receipt requested, but this isn't required. What is important and required is that you keep a record of your mailing and that you prepare and sign an affidavit of delivery. The affidavit of delivery is simply a document stating and swearing that you did in fact mail a copy of the prepared mechanics lien to the property owner, identifying the date it was sent and identifying the manner in which it was sent. So for example, by certified mail. You can send the lien to the property owner address to the property owner's residence or place of business address or at the address shown by the building permit on file for the work. This affidavit must be signed by either you or whoever performed the mailing. Attach this affidavit of delivery and the proof of mailing with your mechanics lien form. You don't have to wait for the mailing to get actually delivered. Once you put it in the mail, you're ready to move forward with step three, filing your lien with the county recorder's office. Now it's finally time to file your mechanics lien. This might seem like the easy part, but don't get too confident. A lot can go wrong with lien filings. Some examples are improper formatting, filing in the wrong government or county office, showing up without the right paperwork and then delaying the process, incorrect filing fees, or missing the filing deadline. So let's talk about how you can avoid these mistakes. One important requirement when filing your California mechanics lien is to make sure it's filed on time. California has strict deadlines for when liens must be filed, and nothing will extend these deadlines. So if someone is promising you payment, that's great, but it won't change your lien deadline. The time you have to file a California mechanics lien depends on whether or not you're a general contractor and whether or not a notice of completion or cessation has been filed on that job. So deadline for general contractors is 90 days if there isn't a notice of completion filed, and then 60 days if one is filed. Now deadline for subs and suppliers is 90 days if there isn't a notice of completion filed, and then 30 days if one is filed. And the California lien deadlines are all calculated from the end and substantial completion of the entire job. If the 90-day deadline is used, or from the filing of the notice of completion for the 30 or 60-day deadlines. Now that you know when to file a lien, do you know which county office you should go to? Generally speaking, you need to file your California mechanics lien in the county recorder's office in the county where the property being leaned is located. Counties record a lot of different documents in a lot of different offices. So the tricky thing is to make sure that you're not only filing in the right county, but also in the right office. We know that this can be confusing. So on levelset.com, we've compiled a list of all the California county recording offices that file mechanics lien claims. Make sure to check it out. Once you've identified the right county and the right office, you should follow these instructions to avoid making multiple trips or sending multiple mailings back and forth. First, send two original copies of your lien and affidavit of delivery. One copy is for the recorder to keep and record, and the second copy is for the recorder to return to you. You'll want and need this, so make sure to bring two copies. Most county recorders won't make copies for you. Then bring multiple blank checks. You can calculate your filing fees beforehand, but you shouldn't be too confident. Something always comes up. Bring blank checks so you can make the check out there on the spot. Generally speaking, depending on your county and the number of pages in your lien, the filing fee will be approximately $70 to $100 in California. 
Now, the filing fees can be determined by calling the county recorder or asking in person if you bring the lien for filing in person. Generally, the fees are set at one amount for the first page with an additional smaller amount for each additional page. You might also wonder what the best way is to file liens in California. Filing liens electronically in California is restricted, only possible when going through a qualified third party who has an account with the county offices. Accordingly, if you want to file the lien yourself, your options are either delivering it by mail or in person. You should always try to get your lien filed in person whenever possible. But let's talk about filing a lien by mail first. It's important to know that it can be quite risky because if your lien is sitting in the county's mail bin, it's not considered filed. And California counties are notorious for having long filing backlogs that can extend for weeks. Literally, if you send a lien to Los Angeles via mail or FedEx, for example, it may not get recorded for up to six weeks. It's also important to know that if you're sending your lien by mail, you'll need to get the filing fee exactly right and provide a self-addressed stamped envelope with return instructions if you wish to receive a copy of the recorded lien for your records. So with all that said, filing your mechanics lien in person or by a courier is the best practice and is fairly straightforward. Filing in person lets you address any potential issues in real time, helps avoid delays related to rejections or misunderstandings, and it gets the recording done instantly without dealing with that backlog. Going to the county office is gonna feel a lot like going to the DMV. You can expect a line and it will take some time. So make sure to budget enough time for the lien filing process. Once you have a stamped copy in your possession, then you have an official recorded mechanics lien. Congratulations. You've just taken a major step towards getting paid on your job. After you file your mechanics lien in California, you may be wondering, what should I do next? So a California mechanics lien only stays effective for 90 days from the date on which it was recorded. After this 90 day period, if the lien isn't enforced or extended, then it will become void and unenforceable. So you'll want to take one of three actions by the time your 90 day deadline is approaching. Option A extend your California mechanics lien. Liens in California, like most other states, can be extended. This will allow more time for collection attempts beyond the 90-day period before you need to enforce the lien. However, getting a lien extended can be tricky in California since you'll need the property owner's approval to do so. So if you can't extend your deadline and you still have not been paid, then you'll likely want to bring an action to enforce the lien. Doing so enables you to foreclose upon the property in order to recover the money that you're owed. This will keep the lien viable during the lawsuit, and at the end of your lawsuit, if you win, the lien will turn permanent and you'll be allowed to foreclose on the property to sell it and pay off your debt. Enforcing a lien requires filing a lawsuit. You can hire a construction attorney to do this for you. If you've been paid, you'll probably be asked to file a lien release. So the process of filing a lien release is similar to that of filing a lien, but simpler. You'll need to file a release in the same office where the lien was filed. We hope this video series has been helpful in your lien filing process. If you have other questions about your mechanics lien rights, deadlines, or other issues, check out levelset.com for helpful resources that can help you get paid on a California construction job. Leave a comment down below and let us know what the most difficult step is for you. Subscribe to our channel if you wanna see more construction payment related videos. And remember, payment help is here.